Okay, so we're going to look at these uh, five problems as well um, that, that are going to look at some more of these lesson problems. Okay, the first one says, if a positive value of 600 is selected at random, what is the probability that it's prime? Well, probability is always your total number, so we need to know the total factors over the ones that are um, what you want. So your want, which is prime, over total, which is the total number of factors. So we need to do the prime factorization of 600. Well, the prime factorization of 600 is just going to be 2 to the third times 3 um, times 5 squared. And you, you can go through and, and work on that on your own if you're not sure about that, but that's the prime factorization of this. So how many prime factors does it have? Interestingly, it's always going to be the number that are right here. You can't get another prime factor. This is a unique prime factorization to 600. So our want is just 3. Our total factors is what we've been doing on factors this whole time, which is adding 1 each time. So we're going to do 4 times 2 times 3, which is going to give you 24. So it's going to be 3 over 24, which turns out to be 1 eighth. And so the answer to that question is just 1 eighth. How many divisors of 576 are perfect squares? Well, again, we look for our prime factorization, which we did in the last video. However, since we want them to be perfect squares, well, a perfect square can always be factored into perfect squares. So we need to rewrite our prime factorization. Instead of being um, a, prime factorization, a prime factorization, we need to do a prime square factorization. So 2 to the 6, I'm going to change to 2 squared to the 3rd. And 3 squared, I'm going to change to, to 3 squared to the 1st. And now I need to find out how many ways can I pair up those factors so I just add 1 to both of those, 8 times 2, or 4 times 2 is 8. So it's the same thing, except you just change it to the, um, the, prime, factor, the prime square factorization is what we, could, what we could call it. If you had a problem that wasn't a perfect square by itself like this one is, you know, for instance, if we had 5 times this, we had a 5 out here, if that can't be made a perfect square, you just ignore it when solving this particular problem. 23, how many divisors does 72 squared have? Well, let's factor 72 first. 72 is just 2 to the third, 3 squared, and then we're going to square that. Using our exponent rules, it's just going to be 2 to the 6 times 3 to the fourth. That should have been something that we can, you, you can do from exponents. Now you just use your theorem, add 1 to both of those, you get 7 times 5, so you get 35 factors. So 72 squared is going to have 35 factors. Okay, last two. Um, what is the largest number of primes that could be factors of a number that has 36 factors? Well, if you think about what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be adding 1 to each of the exponents. And so, uh, the prime factorization. So we need to try to get as many as possible in a prime factorization such that when we add their ex one to the exponents, we're going to multiply together to get 36. Well, remember, 36 is just going to be 4 times 9, so 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So essentially, the largest number of primes is going to be 4. So, like, for instance, you could do this. That would have 36 factors. Whatever the case is, you're going to have to have two of the prime numbers having a power of 1, two have a power of 2 when you add 1, to each of those, that gets you that. And there's no other way to do that. You can't make, you can't make 30, 36 can't be made with, with multiply more things together to give you 36, and so that's your answer. Last one is probably the hardest one on the whole thing. And it says, how many positive divisors do 1,440 and 3,024 have in common? Well, the actual answer is, um, the, the way you do it is, it's the number of, um, factors of the greatest common factor. So you actually have to find the greatest common factor of these two first. So let's go through and do this. Um, we're going to divide, just look for things that go into both of those. Div divide by 12, um, you get 120. Divide 3024 by 12, yeah, that worked out, so 252. I see both of these are divisible by 3, so that's 40 and uh, when you divide 252 by 3, you get 84. Divide by, well, clearly 4 goes into both those, so that gives you 10 and 21. 
and now you are done. And so the um, greatest common factors of these is just 12 times 3 times 4, which is 144. So how many factors does 144 have? Do the prime factorization of 144, which is going to give you 2 to the 4th times 3 squared. Add 1 to both of these, and you get 5 times 3, which is 15. So it's all the factors of 144, because anything bigger than 144 is not going to go into both of these. So it's only going to be things that are less than 144 or equal to 144, clearly, because that's the greatest common factor. Okay, I hope that clears up some of your um, confusion. Uh, again, if you've got more questions, feel free to send me emails in the future.